Have your tires ever been spinning so much when you've gotten stuck in some mud or on some ice while you're driving your car? And you, the tires just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. And no matter what you do and no matter how much you talk and get upset by the whole matter, nothing really gets resolved. Well, I mean, in this case, you might think it's different, but this feels a lot similar to the Kevin Durant situation with the Brooklyn Nets. Because every single day there's a new story coming out about Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. As just a few days ago, there was a story that broke from Ian Begley of SNY.com that the Brooklyn Nets star forward was going to be meeting with owner Joe Sy at the end of this week to discuss the potential future of Kevin Durant. Well, now it looks like that Kevin Durant might be actually staying here more likely because Ian Begley has just reported this week that no team right now in the NBA is willing to help out the Brooklyn Nets in terms of a three or four team facilitated trade to help out the Nets get as many assets as they can, which is making the possibility of Kevin Durant staying in Brooklyn all the more likely and that a trade probably will not happen. And as well with all the trade rumors going around with Kyrie Irving is that Kyrie Irving is pretty much staying in the mind that he's ready for the 2022-2023 season and that he's at the point where he's humbled about staying with the Brooklyn Nets going forward. So I mean just the pessimism standing like around this Kevin Durant deal unless some team that really believes that they could just go all in and acquire somebody like Kevin Durant and is not afraid to mortgage their entire future for a one-on-one -on -one swap, team for team swap for Kevin Durant, it's looking more and more likely that no team is going to be willing to be involved in a multi-team trade for Kevin Durant and that Durant is going to be playing his 2022-2023 NBA season in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center with the Nets. What's going on, everybody? This is NYG Jeff BT 3285. And I, after you just heard the, the intro of this video, you obviously have the idea on what's going to be happening right now with the Brooklyn Nets and Kevin Durant. I mean, it's just pretty much a story that's just been circling around and around and around this entire offseason since Kevin Durant made his trade demand at the beginning of July. And nothing really has come about it. There's been some rumors out there of maybe the Suns trading, Miami, and then Boston being the last team, Golden State at one point. But no team at this point looks to be willing to give the Brooklyn Nets the type of assets that they're looking for, which is multiple first-round picks, multiple young players, for a guy that's going to be 34 years old while Durant is still one of the best players in the NBA. No team seems willing to go out there and give the type of draft capital and young players from their core for a guy like Kevin Durant. And the fact that no team is willing to be a part to help out the Nets in a multi-team trade, whether it's a three-team or four-team trade, is making it all the more likely that Kevin Durant is going to be playing in Brooklyn this year. Which might not make Kevin Durant very happy because of his recent trade demand, but just by what everything is going on right now and the fact, the one thing I do like that the Nets have done is they have still tried to go about business and improve this roster going forward and not worried too much about accommodating what Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have been wanting in demands, especially Ky Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving seems to have backed off a little bit on his trade demands as he's pretty much settled with the fact that he's probably going to be playing in Brooklyn in 2022-2023. And with the mask mandate no longer, and the vaccine mandate no longer a, a, an issue right now in the city of New York, Kyrie Irving should not have any issues playing the full year this year. And you have to think about it with the moves the Nets have made so far this year. You got Cam Thomas and Deron Sharp, as well as David Duke Jr. and Kessler Edwards coming into their third se second seasons in the NBA. So you think those young guys are going to be improved? They just resigned Patty Mills and Nick Cla Nick's Claxton to extended deals. They brought in a guy like TJ Warren, who if he's healthy, he can provide some very instant scoring, either with the first unit as their starting small forward, or a guy that can come into the second unit and be sort of like that sixth man going forward. You're getting Joe Harris back from injury. We all know what Joey Buckets can do when he's healthy. He's one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. You still got Kevin Durant if he's on the team. You got Kyrie Irving, Ben Simmons coming off injury. You still got Seth Curry. You got uh, some good pieces to work with going forward with this Brooklyn Nets team. So, and the fact of the matter is, we've all stated this before. If you're a Brooklyn Nets fan, we've all stated this. Kevin Durant has absolutely zero, zero negotiation tactics. He has zero leverage 
going into the offseason and trying to demand a trade. The Brooklyn Nets don't have to do a damn thing. Kevin Durant signed that four-year deal. I know I've made this. I apologize if I've said this so many times in my previous videos, but Kevin Durant has no leverage. It doesn't matter what he wants. It doesn't matter where he wants to go. He signed that four-year extension last year to stay in Brooklyn. The Nets don't have to trade him. And the fact of the matter is, now that no team is out there, according to Ian Begley of SNY, no team is out there willing to accommodate what the Nets want in a multi-team trade, it's just making it more than likely that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are going to be here in 2022-2023, and the Nets are going to give it another shot to try to put together a championship team and a championship run with guys like Irving, Durant, Simmons, Harris, Seth Curry, Claxton, Thomas, Sharp, Mills, Warren, and all the rest of the guys they have on this Nets roster going into this season. <laughs> so that's just a quick little next update on Kevin Durant going into this, uh, continuing this offseason, is that Ian Begley of SNY.com has reported that no team right now is willing to accommodate or help out the Brooklyn Nets in a multi-team trade, making a trade of Kevin Durant out of Brooklyn all the more unlikely to happen and that Kevin Durant seems more likely to be suiting up with the Brooklyn Nets going into the 2022-2023 NBA season. Pessimism around a Kevin Durant deal, which for the Brooklyn Nets and their fan base is all the type of news you want to hear and that Kevin Durant will be here with the Brooklyn Nets going into the season. Now things can change on the drop of a dime like I mentioned earlier in the video. Kevin Durant could all of a sudden, a team could come out of nowhere be willing to give him the apps, assets that they want, like a Boston, a Golden State. And this is something that could actually lean into the regular season if the Nets maybe just aren't off to the type of start they were hoping for. And maybe a team who is just close enough to be coming to get to that next level as an NBA champion might be willing to give up the assets to the Brooklyn Nets to get a Kevin Durant in here. Same thing with a Kyrie Irving. But as it stands right now, with everything going on around the Brooklyn Nets, it seems like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are going to be here. So this is the latest update surrounding Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets going forward. We're going to have to see what happens coming out of that meeting with owner Joe, with owner Joe Sy and superstar Kevin Durant and what his future plans are going to be with the Brooklyn Nets. And in fact, if he's going to take back that trade demand that he made at the beginning of the offseason on, on July 4th. I hope everybody has a great rest of your Friday. If you like the video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets, New York Mets, New York Giants, WWE Wrestling, as well as Food for Thought. Share your comments below on this latest rumor that's been going on surrounding Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. The fact that no team right now is willing to help out the Brooklyn Nets facilitate a multi-team trade going into this offseason and it's making it seem more likely Kevin Durant will be a Brooklyn Net going into the 2022-2023 NBA season. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next short or video that's going to drop for the surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And I hope everybody just enjoys the rest of your Friday. The weekend is almost here. Take it easy everybody and just remember it's Nets world everybody. Let's go Brooklyn Nets. We're coming for you. Nets world everyone.